from its insane depths to its scientific mysteries. Stay tuned to number one to find out the top 10 facts about the Mariana Trench. Number 10. It's one of the deepest parts of our world. When you think about our world, you likely think about how far we've come in terms of building up our cities or how high we've gone in terms of space travel and whatnot. You might even look at the oceans and wonder how deep it actually is to the bottom of the ocean. Well, as the Mariana Trench has shown us, it's pretty deep. In fact, it's so deep that some think it can go even deeper than we know. Just to reach the Mariana Trench, you have to go 36,070 feet. Specifically, you have to do it off of the nearby Mariana Islands. But the point is still there to be made. This is a massively deep trench. If you still need some context as to how deep the trench really is, think about it like this. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain above sea level in the world, right? And it's a great honor to climb all the way up there and survive, right? Well, if you were to pick up the entire mountain from tip to summit, turn it upside down and stick it into the ocean, you still wouldn't reach the trench. You'd still be about 7,000 feet away in fact. That's how deep the trench is, or at least just to reach the top of it, which begs the question. Number 9. How low does it go? That is the question, isn't it? And to be completely honest, we have no true clue. The fact is that, although we've sent people and probes and other devices to try and scan the depth and the width of the place, there's still no indication as to how deep it truly goes. There are actually sections of the trench, and one of them is the Challenger Deep, which is said to be the deepest part of the trench. But because we can't explore it at will, there's a very good chance that there are even deeper parts of the trench. And by that extension, deeper parts of our own ocean. I bet you're getting kind of a scale vertigo, huh? because all of this just goes to show the ocean is much, much deeper than anyone could have imagined. Which also makes it a place that humans definitely want to explore, because nothing terrifies a human scientist more than a question that has gone unanswered for an incredible period of time. But seriously, how low does it go? Sorry, but there's just no way of knowing right now. Number 8. Deep Trouble before we move on, take a moment to like this video and join the Zero to Hero community by using the buttons below. Believe it or not, we've known about the Mariana Trench since the 1800s. 1875 to be exact. However, just because we knew it was there didn't mean we could get to it. In fact, it took us nearly 100 years to get something strong enough to go down there and start scanning the area. What do I mean by strong enough? Well, what you need to remember is that water and air are similar in many ways, not the least of which is that air makes up water in part. And because of that, they can both increase in pressure in a significant way. The deeper you go into the ocean, the more pressure of water builds up. That's why scuba divers can only go so far on their own. Once you get to about 400 feet below sea level, the pressure of the ocean starts to grow incredibly strong and it can severely hurt the human body. If you've ever heard of the bends, it happens when a diver goes into a deep pressure zone and then quickly rises to a lower pressure zone. This causes the body to be pressurized and depressurized too quickly and can cause serious health issues. If you go down too far into the ocean, you'll literally be compressed by the pressure and not in a fun way. Think of it like a pop can being crushed by your hand. And though it's never happened before to a human, in some areas the pressure is so deep that you'd likely be crushed into oblivion, or even turned inside out. Seriously. Fun fact, we have retrieved creatures from the Mariana Trench and attempted to bring them to the surface. Keyword here is attempted. Because the creatures that somehow survive in the Mariana Trench are so used to the pressures of the water that any attempt to bring them into lighter pressure areas destroys them. It's not pretty. Hearing all of this, you might think it's impossible to get down to the trench and survive. But… Number 7. Three Explorers It has happened before. Twice, actually. In total, only three people in the history of the world have ever made it to the Mariana Trench, and the trips were quite spread out from one another. The first of these two trips were done in 1960, 
85 years after the discovery of the trench. Scientists Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh took a submarine and went down into the deepest depths of the ocean, and were able to successfully make it to the trench itself. In fact, despite being the earlier of the two trips, they went the deepest into the trench. But hold on, there's a catch. For though they made it down, their sub wasn't fully prepared for the adventure, and so after about 20 minutes, the enormous pressure of the ocean depth started to crush the submarine, and the two were forced to retreat. Then there was the trip made in 2012, 52 years after the original journey, by none other than legendary filmmaker James Cameron. He didn't go down in a submarine though, but in a solo depth pod of sorts. And although he didn't go as deep as Picard and Walsh, he was able to stay down there for hours, and all throughout the process take pictures and film of the life within the trench. Since then, many unmanned subs and probes have gone to the trench with mixed levels of success. Fun fact, more people have touched the moon's surface than have touched the waters of the Mariana Trench. Number 6. No Light Imagine you're on a submarine and you're going down into the Mariana Trench. You finally reach it and you look outside your window to observe it. What do you see? Trick question, you actually see nothing. Not because nothing exists and the Mariana Trench is just an illusion, this isn't a Christopher Nolan movie after all, but rather you can't see anything because the light of the sun doesn't reach the depths of the trench. The reason we see in the world today is because the sun emits rays that reach the earth, and by extension, our eyes. But the 36,000 foot depth of the ocean is too deep for the sunlight to reach. And so, if you go into the trench, you have to bring your own source of light to look around, because there's very little within the trench itself to light your way. For the record, both the sub and pod that went into the trench had their own flashlights and lamps to illuminate the area and thus see what was there. Number 5. The Trench is Old You might think that it's hard to gauge the age of something like the oceans and their waters, but in fact, it's actually something that scientists are able to do quite well. This is because they use tests to determine how old the ocean waters are, and then determine how they factor into the age of the world itself. The Mariana Trench is believed to be one of the oldest seabeds still on Earth. At present, scientists believe that it is 180 million years old which could be why so little is known about it and how it formed without interference from man. Number 4. Plenty of things live down there After everything you've heard about the Mariana Trench, you might think that the place is uninhabitable. I mean, it has pressure that can take you out and no sunlight to light your way. So what kind of things can live down there? Well, a lot actually. First and foremost, there's a lot of simple life creatures that live in the trench, including more than 200 species of microorganisms. But it's not all simple life, there are types of sharks like the goblin shark that reside there, and the infamous anglerfish that has an antenna that helps lure its prey into their doom. You may have seen that one on Finding Nemo. But although we do know some of the things that live in the trench, we don't know all of them, and that's why many are still sending craft into the depths because they want to know all that lives there. Number 3. Hot and Cold Given that there is no sunlight reaching the Mariana Trench, you might expect the waters of the area to be incredibly cold, and you'd be partially right. The average temperature is between 34 and 39 degrees Fahrenheit. However, because of how deep it is and how close it is to the Earth's core, there are actually places nearby that are blazing hot. How is that possible? Well, it's because of geothermal vents. These vents are connected to the Earth's core and can shoot out streams of air and water that can get up to 700 degrees. And while that may seem like a death trap, it's actually a necessary thing, as this influx of water brings more minerals and nutrients to the area, thus providing sustenance to the local wildlife. Number 2. It has its own mythology If you've ever heard the phrase, people fear what they don't understand, then you'll understand how a place like the Mariana Trench is so scary to some. After all, we know that some very scary creatures live down there, so it goes to reason that there could be even more scary creatures in the waters of the Mariana Trench as well. To that end, there have been many books and stories written about what may be down there, and one of the most popular ones, which was actually turned into a movie last year, is called The Meg. 
a story about the infamous megalodon shark of prehistoric times and how a couple of them actually survived various extinction events and found a way out of the trench and onto the surface. This isn't true, obviously, that we know of, but it doesn't stop people from using the trench as a plot device. Number 1. There's still a lot we don't know. Three explorers, numerous unmanned subs, and probes later, the truth is, the Mariana Trench is still a mystery to us in a very large scale. Its natural pressure and lack of light make it very difficult to study for long periods of time, and because of that, there's so much in there that we just don't know. There could be dozens, if not hundreds, of new animals and plant species down there. We could find a tunnel that leads right to the Earth's core, or something else even more remarkable. This is a mystery that many want to solve, and so, until it's entirely mapped out, everyone wants to be the one that discovers the next big thing from the Mariana Trench. What do you think about the mysteries of the ocean? Let us know in the comments below and take care!